Hey, we're looking at a hydraulic problem. I came across an easy way to measure the LMTV pressure. Um, basically, the, the two pump outputs, the aux pump and the air-operated pump, um, their outputs are tied together in the manifold valve. So whatever one pump is outputting, that same pressure is felt on the output of the other pump. There's a check valve inside each pump that stops from backflowing. Um, so I disconnected the output from the aux pump put together some fittings and hooked up this pressure gauge. So, let's uh, let's lift the cab. pressure is still there. Um, it's going to stay there until I open the valve. It's going to decrease slowly as it leaks back through the, uh, the check valve in the uh, air operated pump, I'm assuming. Uh, it'll eventually leak down to zero. Um, or you can just uh, shift the valve and that will bleed the pressure off immediately as it sends that port, connects that port back to the tank return. Anyway, it looks like 1400 psi to lift the cab. Okay, here is cab lowering. restricted orifice in the uh, in the valve mechanism it's back in the center of the core of the valve is uh, restricts its downward speed so it can only go so fast through that restricted orifice so pumping it down you're just you're going to build a little bit of pressure trying to force it down but the uh, the fluid can only go through the restricted orifice so fast well, anyway that's it for pressure testing I think Okay, while well, I had the gauge rigged, I thought I would do the same test to see how much pressure the spare tire crane um, requires. It's got a, a horrible mechanical advantage and it's on the cylinder side or the uh, rod end of the uh, of the cylinder so it doesn't have as much surface area to lift so it's probably going to be a higher pressure. Here we go. Thank you. 